I doubt that. I doubt that very much. Following the news headlines next, we continue our boxing night at the movies as Sam Neill stars in Robbery Under Arms. Well, let's face it, Mr. Taggart. You have to kiss a lot of frogs before you meet a prince. New Year's Eve at 8.30 on ITV. Why don't Zanussi recommend a single biological liquid? Because they recommend double biological aerial liquid. Some modern technology can be mm. sort of confusing. All right, this is a wobbly. Everyone on the floor. <laughs> but not the Sony TR75 with stereo sound. Fill this bed. It's so small. Give it me. Is it? So light. Push it through. And so easy to operate, you'll find it hard to resist using it. <laughs> Wherever you are. <laughs> Amazingly, you can also plug it directly into your TV so you can enjoy instant playback with your friends. Sony, why compromise? Call our party line now on 0898 60 60 60 and speak to new friends all over the UK. Just dial 0898 60 60 60. Tomorrow on ITV, the movie premiere of My Left Foot. The Oscar-winning story of the Irish writer Christy Brown. A man who battled valiantly to overcome his crippling disability. This is Christy Brown, my son, genius. Daniel Day-Lewis in the movie premiere, My Left Foot, tomorrow at nine. Here's another of those Christmas crackers I've been given, a slight improvement on the others. What do ghosts have for dessert? Booberry pie and ice cream. Think about it. Robbery under arms in a couple of minutes after the latest news headlines from Phil Roman at ITN. The commander of the British forces in the Gulf, Sir Peter de la Billiere, said Iraq may attack before January the 15th. It was the strongest warning so far that Saddam Hussein may start hostilities at any time. If he decides that he's going down the military road, then he will try to take a military initiative, and that initiative could well happen before the 15th of, of, of January. So there's nothing sacrosanct about the 15th of January in military terms. The Israeli Defense Minister Moshe Aaron said Tel Aviv was ready should Saddam try a preemptive strike against his troops. He has the ability, he has missiles uh, that have a range uh, to reach Israel, but I think his capability of hurting Israel significantly is very limited. President Gorbachev has been given the power he wanted to rule by decree, which he believes will lead to an improvement in the Soviet economy. The parliament voted to give him direct control of the 15 republics and the country's economy. It's still to approve his choice of vice president, Gennady Yanayev, an old-style conservative. But there's uncertainty over the future of the Prime Minister, Nikolai Rishkov, who suffered a heart attack. He may now retire. A gas rig support vessel is drifting out of control after gale force winds swept into the North Sea. The Oakley, with a crew of up to 15, has lost power. The ship, which supplies the Santa Fe rig, is more than 100 miles off Humberside. Two other vessels are standing by, trying to get a line on board. Coast guards say there's no immediate danger. In Northern Ireland, the IRA's self-proclaimed Christmas ceasefire ended shortly after midnight. 
A vehicle checkpoint at Anna Martin in County Fermanagh was fired on, but no one was hurt. That's it for now. The next news from ITN is at 5 to 6. This New Year's Day on ITV, we dish up the return of Bromley and Blake. But just where's the boat? It's gone. And the name of the boat, senor? El Cid. And your name, senor? Bromley, I've already told you. Another statement, are you? I'll give you another statement. Two words, short and sweet. I wonder if you know what they are. <laughs> El Cid, this New Year's Day at nine. Still to come this Boxing Night Time, a full-length cartoon version of Dickens' Pickwick Papers. The top ten um, 60s acts. And right now, a movie from Down Under, Sam Neill in Robbery Under Arms. Thank you. 